Grieving from the loss of her husband, Linda K. Bowes was made a ward of the state of Florida in April 2014. Her court-appointed guardian placed her in an assisted living facility where she has been living since May. But in here, um, there are things to do, but most of the time I find myself doing paperwork mm -hmm. or watching the news, watch what's going on. But when I watch the news and try to talk to people um, outside of this room about it, nobody seems to know what's going on in the world because everybody seems to be wrapped up in their own, own little world. Mm -hmm. And some people just don't know what day it is or, uh, you know, what month it is, what time it is, or what meal we're going to have next. Oh. And it, it's sad. And I've just been you know, stuck here without any telephone. That's another bad thing. There's no, no telephone. <laughs> they, they have a telephone up front that you can use, but there's always somebody else sitting there, so it's not really confidential. You have to watch what you're saying. Because mm -hmm. I know the first maybe month or the first six weeks, it did help me when I was in here. Um, but after that, it just became, um, I just wanted to get over here. What about your grieving process for your husband? Um, is that getting easier for you? And what would make it easier for you? Yes, it is easier for me now, but it wasn't, it wasn't at the time. And I think the wrong thing that was done to me at the time was to take me out of those surroundings away from that and I never had time to grieve about my husband mm -hmm. because I was in here. Um, but through my own thoughts and just my, just my own thinking about it um, has brought me to terms with it and that, that I could deal with it. Mm -hmm. You had mentioned to me before that you would like to see where your husband's remains are and I'd visit I'd like the cemetery. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any chances to take a flowers there, and um, so that'll be another um, another day of outing when I get out and mm -hmm. go and see him. I, I, I never wanted to think that my husband wasn't there anymore, mm -hmm. because we were such good friends, and we, we were so close to each other for all those years, for almost 30 years, that it's, it's hard to imagine somebody like that who's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people go through that, and I know you eventually get over it, but you don't get over it. You would have been horrified to see what I've been going through here myself, because mm -hmm. you would never ever have expected this to happen to me. I've been taking care of my husband and my financial business all my life, and such as his taxes and all the other paperwork and um, making decisions and just to have all of that taken away from me and having a stranger doing it is just unbelievable. And to talk to a few other people that are in the same position that I am and they are going through the same process that I'm going through and it just makes me wonder if um, if this town, if people in this town know exactly um, what is going on here, and if something like this happened to their loved ones, would they know exactly what, what would happen to them? 